Hey there, everybody. This is Potterbro, and welcome to another mind reaction of some MLP fan work. Uh, this time we have from DWK, a totally legit recap of Student Council, Season 9, Episode Number 11. Uh, as always, the links are in the description below. Be sure to support his channel over there. And, uh, yeah, let's just get it going and see what he's got in store for us. <coughs> Alright, and starting the video in 3... Two, one, and go. Thanks for taking the fall on that kidnapping charge, Tracy. I took one for the team, man. The cleaner your reputation stays, the more judges I can make friends with. Besides, prison for me is like vacation. I get a bigger living space, there's more food, and I even make more money. How do you make money in there? How do you think? I sucked a bunch of cocks. Don't worry, no sex. I would never cheat on you. <laughs> Interesting. Sucking dick is cheating, Trixie. Hold on, we are not done talking about this. I reminded of clerks. So, you never sucked a cock the whole time we've been together? Wait, is this only a prison thing, or did you just go around su Give me one second. Dude, it's just business. I'm not some slut who does it for fun. No, you're a whore because you do it for money. God damn it, give me a second. I feel like we needed to have this talk years ago. You're the only person ever who needs to have this talk. Look, I forgive you, but you need to stop sucking dicks and we're not having sex again until you get tested. I don't want to get syphilates. Who are you talking to? Is now. Sorry, wrong conversation. If you just forget I said that, you'd be like my favorite person right now. Anyway, what did you want? Sometimes when I blow my nose, there's a booger that won't come out, so I like twist the Kleenex into a point and stick it way up in there like a drill to get at it, and I'm just wondering if that's okay. Look, there's a lot of kids trying to see me now, so it... Does an N-word pass work retroactively? Because if so, I need one like immediately. Okay, we're... No, no, no. You need to go now. Wow. Cutsies. Yep. Dude, I'm sorry. You just made an enemy for life. Won't happen again. Hey, I sold your wagon. You sucked a hundred cocks. Everybody makes mistakes. Just look. I've been thinking lately. It's probably time we went on the straight and narrow, you know? I've been sober for a couple months. I got this job, and I think it's an opportunity for us to start. <laughs> Trixie, it's noon on a Thursday. Exactly. Let's have a hit, drink some beer, and break that couch. I'm sitting on some nine-month dry-aged pussy right here. I'm at work, so I will not be a bad influence on my students. What is up with you today? Were you listening to anything I just said? <laughs> What? I wish you were still in jail. <laughs> Fine, we can wait. Just grow some balls in the next couple hours or we won't have any fun tonight. We're hanging out with Maud and that annoying faggot she's dating. Trixie, the guy has a name. What was it again? <laughs> I forgot, actually. All right, we got to do a booze run, grab some oh, pizza, that's up. and get a cake. You get started on that. I've got to go pick up a few party supplies. No speed, Trixie. But I want it! Please, for me, I've got work tomorrow, and I don't want to have to wrestle you back to the wagon at 4 a.m. when you got tweaker strength. Looks like our favorite game. No, that's your favorite game. I hate it. You bite. Hold on. Those are love bites. Is it okay if I say it when I'm singing along with a rap song? I mean, I'm not saying it no, at anyone, it's not. so I think that should be fine, right? Smolder, I understand you're very passionate about atheism, but burning other people's holy books is not okay. <laughs> yes, that's a very convincing bugbear, but you wanted my opinion, and I still think it would be bestiality. Just don't do it. Yo, I need a cake. Sorry, I just closed for the day. Bitch. I need a cake. Now that's just real. Help me out. I need a cake. Cake. So sticky, gooey, gooey. What? Could be a chocolate cake <laughs> or maybe one that's fruity. Help me out. I need a cake. Cake. Dude, Trixie already picked one up. Just chill the fuck out. Oh, all right. Thanks. Peace. You know, when I was in jail, the only thing I looked forward to was getting out and being with you again. But now you're too busy to hang out or even help me pick up a fucking cake? 
I went to prison for you. I sucked all those dicks for you. No, see, you're turning the last one around. I did not want that. Now you don't love me anymore. I have an important job, dude. Are you so fucking possessive that you're trying to make me feel guilty for helping troubled children? Of course I am. Oh my God. It's like you don't even know me anymore. No, it's just that when you go away, I forget how shitty you are because it seems impossible. I'm trying to do something with my life, Trixie. We can't be young and wasted forever. Well, we can't be young forever. No, I'm done with that. If I get fucked up in front of the kids, they're gonna go and do it too. Come on, kids aren't that stupid. Trixie, you're yeah, that they stupid. Kind of are. You just got out of jail for like the third time and you're still getting high. Who around here would even give them drugs? You would. I mean, I... No. <laughs> Fuck off, we're getting stoned. Ooh, I wanna get stoned just like Lil John. No, we're not. We're cl I'm closed. Closed for the day. Don't do drugs. Oh. Everything I said was gonna happen just happened. Whatever. Doesn't mean you're right. That's what being right is. <laughs> what kind of rock is that? I've never seen it before. <laughs> That's a crack rock. What are its properties? You smoke it and it gets you high as fuck. This is a glorious day. Give it to me. I don't want to try it. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you are taking a hell of a hit. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Possible. It makes perfect sense. I'm already high on rocks. I'm higher on rocks than you will ever be. Bitch. Well, but shit. See, I told you no <laughs> speed. Yeah, that's why we're smoking crack. Fine. It is nice to relax for once. So I turned away one student. Nothing bad happened. Starlight? Mudbriar, there's another bird in the house. Bring me my strap. Silver stream. <coughs> oh, it's sapient. But does it have a soul? God damn it. See, I listened to you one time and it turns into a missing person's case. Don't worry, we'll find her. Damn. Too late. <laughs> oh, looks like she was studying cockatrices a lot. What was the last thing she said to you? That might give us a clue. Oh, God. This all makes sense. I told Trixie we were going to be a bad influence. What's going on? Your sister is trying to get stoned. All right, guys, we need to go into the Everfree Wow, forest that's uh, quite so a connection. Free. Not like that, my gay. Yeah. Don't worry, I know the forest like the back of my hand. Let's go! What's a hand? We could blindly follow the crackhead who uses magic to do fake magic that looks like real magic, or we could check that treehouse where Silver Stream and her friends always hang out. Let's do that one. Yeah, I like the not retarded idea. My bloodlust is awakened and must be slayed. Hey, what do you know? She's here. <laughs> Thank God that was easy. Why'd you run off, dummy? Everyone was freaking out. Shit, sorry. I just came here to do my cockatrice homework. Also, meet my new friend, Cockatrice O'Neill. Wait, that's why you came here? We thought you were trying to get turned to stone. Why would I want to do that? Because you said you wanted to get stoned, and it made sense in my head at the time. Yeah, like, hi, not petrified. Did you guys really think I'm that stupid? Yeah, I do. <laughs> anyway, I did think about smoking. What a stuff, brother. But then I remembered how Counselor Starlight always told me I shouldn't do drugs, or I could turn into a drunken, exhausting, emotional burden like your shitty girlfriend. Aw, oh, dude, I'm so glad you really listened to me. <laughs> Come on, let's go home. Wait, can I that look up Trixie's face. Her? Wow, I like Mudbriar so much better now. Me too. He's finally hard enough to satisfy me. Won't that hurt? No, my first boyfriend was a rock. I have a thickly calloused vagina. Oh, well, that's the worst thing. Anyway, sorry I scared yeah. you guys. Don't worry about it. I'm just glad you weren't trying to get stoned in either sense. I guess I can't watch you every second every day, so I gotta use the time we do spend together to focus on the most important stuff. That way you'll have enough information to make good decisions when you're on your own. Yeah, you can't solve every one. Now about that Edward pass. Every responsibility. Sometimes bad things just happen. Well, at least nothing bad happened today. You didn't hear about the guy? What guy? The dude who killed himself. It's been all over the news. I've been here. Oh, uh, that guy. For you. <laughs> Holy crap. What, what happened? Yeah, the one student, I forgot his name. Kind of tall unicorn dude, purple hair, had a rain cloud cutie mark. I... I think he was at your office earlier. You probably talked to him. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God, please, no. Jesus fucking Christ. 
Who wants cake? Oh, God, no! That must be some pretty awful cake. <laughs> no, please, God, no! No! <coughs> I need a cake! Cake! That's messed up. <laughs> yep, happy Halloween. I saw that flash up there. Alright, so, uh... That was the total legit recap of Student Council. Yeah, very, very accurate to the actual episode. It was almost as if I was watching the episode itself, wasn't it? Uh, Jesus Christ, dude. I, I don't even know what to say to that. Uh, as I had said before, I'm not someone who likes to see that type of adult humor put to the ponies. But still, again, for some reason with DWK, it works. I don't know how the hell he does it. But he does. So, uh, yeah, I want to thank you all for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed that. As I said before, the link to the original video is in the description below. Be sure to support DWK's channel. And until next time, take care.